Alright, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, which is in the Hebrew, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, today, I'm just going to go into the, uh, or go over, alright, the Lord's Prayer in the Hebrew, alright. So, you know, without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. All right. So, as you can see, I have the, the image up, okay, of the Hebrew, and it has the English, all right, the English writings under it, which this is a very good prayer to pray, all right. And <clears throat> matter of fact, before I, I start going into it, the Lord told us to pray this prayer, okay. Um, let me see. See, this is Matthew chapter 6, verse, verse uh, 9. So Yahweh Shai said, because I'm going to put in the, in the red letter so you can see it. It said, he, he told his disciples, after this manner, therefore pray ye. So this is how you should pray. Our Father, which are, which are in heaven. And then he goes into the, uh, into, into the Lord's prayer. So this is the prayer Yahweh Shai taught us to pray. Okay. And so, hey, man, this is one of the prayers. And the reason I have it here in Hebrew is because praying in Hebrew, in essence, is really more powerful. Okay, and it tells you that, I'm not making it up, it tells you that um, in the Apocrypha, all right, Ecclesiasticus, the 46, uh, the first chapter is Lakia, Ecclesiasticus, first chapter, all right, now in this prologue, all right, I'm just going to skim and get to the part, all right, that I just mentioned here. Okay, see, right here, boom. So this is Sirach, or Ecclesiastic, is the first chapter, the first verse. It says, I'm just getting to the point, for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue, meaning another language, have not the same force in them. Okay, meaning it doesn't have the same power. Why? Because... The Hebrew tongue is is is, our, is the holy tongue, all right, and it has power in it. That's why when we say the Lord's name, we say it in Hebrew. That's His true name, okay. So it has power in it. Therefore, when you pray the Lord's prayer, it's good, all right, or it's, it, it would behoove you to pray it in Hebrew, all right. So for those of you who don't know the Lord's prayer, well, I'm doing this video for a reason, all right. So it's good learn the learn learn the Lord's prayer in the Hebrew. All right, and there are other prayers as well, but this is one of the most important prayers to pray. Okay, now you can you can you can say your regular prayers in English and finish it off with this in the Hebrew or however you want to do it. Okay, but let's just go into it. So it says uh, the Lord's prayer. All right, now in the Hebrew, it's it's read from right to left. Okay, and written from right to left, not like in the in the English. So it, you wouldn't read it as Palau Adawan. No, it's Adawan Palau. All right. Ada one meaning Lord, okay, and Palau meaning prayer, as you can see is broken down here. So you have you have the English here, you have the uh, the Hebrew characters, all right, which this would be the uh, the Paleo Hebrew, and then you have the um, the um, the the transliteration, all right, which a transliteration, all right, it's basically using the letters, okay, of one language to sound out another language, so you can read it. Right. So, ah, all right. These letters are English letters. However, when you pronounce it, it sounds Hebrew. Now, if you can't read these characters here, a transliteration would be using English letters that are equivalent to the sounds that these characters make so you can read it. See, so this this is ah, da, wa, na. But you see this little thing under here? It joins these two. So instead of na, wa, I mean, or, or what, Slakia, why not? It will be one. That's why you see here, I don't want. So, because you can read English, if it's written like this, when you use the English characters that make the sounds, I da one, you can now read it. That's a transliteration. Okay? So, starting off, I da one palau, Lord's Prayer. All right? So, you have Abba Nawa, right? Our Father. Because the word Abba in Hebrew is father. Nawa, the suffix, okay, is our. Okay, 
So when you put it together, you have our father, Abba Nawa. Okay, but if you were to read it verbatim, it would be father, our. However, in the Hebrew, the, um, the subject comes first. Okay, now one thing to keep in mind is the, the suffix, all right, pertains more to pos uh, 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 being possessive. Okay, so our father. Okay, now when you have a prefix, all right, it's more of a pronoun. Okay, and I'll show you, I'll show you an example of it as we keep on going. So you have here Abba Nawa, our father, Shabbat Shamayim. Okay, now Shabbat, all right, Sha meaning uh, a witch, all right, or which is Ba meaning in. So when you when you say um, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you're saying Yahweh Ba in Ha the Shem name. Right, so you're saying Yahawa ba the word ba meaning in. So when you see that here, Shaba, which is in Shamayim, which means heaven. Okay, so which is ba in Shamayim, heaven. Kwadash meaning holy, Haya meaning be. All right, like the Lord's name in, in uh, when, when the Lord told Moses, I am, right, in the Hebrew, it's ah. Haya, because the word Haya means to be. Okay, now we can look that up real quick. I am. Let me see. That I am. This is what the Lord told Moses. All right, which we've done videos on how you get the Lord's name from this. All right, which is Yahweh. But you see how it, I am, right? The am mean is is in the Hebrew Haya. All right, which means to be. Look at that, to be. All right. So when you're reading this, it says "holy be" because that's what that's what the word "haya" means. Be, shamka, your name. So remember, as I was saying before, the suffix. All right, because shamka is is sham, which means name, and ka, which is the suffix. All right, meaning uh your. Okay, so shamka, your name. All right, so you have our Father which are in heaven, Abanawa, Shabash Mayim, Kwadash, Haya, Shamka, Yahawa, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means Yah, He, Hawa, to be or to exist. It says uh, Malakwath Ka. Malakwath is kingdom, and Ka, once again, is your. Okay, so Yahawa, Malakwath Ka. Yahawa, your kingdom. Thaba'a, come. Ratazaka, all right. Rataza is will, and ka is your. Once again, okay. So your will, all right. Now, if you want to say willing, all right, like we say, oh, Lord's willing, all right, or Lord willing, it would be Adawan, which is Lord, and then for willing, it would be Rawataza, all right. Or you could just say Adawan Rataza, which 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 is Lord will. Haya, once again, to be, all right, or be. So you have Yahawa, Malakwathka, your kingdom, Thaba'a, come, Ratazaka, your will, Haya, be, Aisha, done, Ba'arataza, Ba meaning in, Arataza meaning earth. Okay, so your will be done, Aisha, Ba in, Arataza, earth. Kawa, all right, uh, 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 as okay, haya to be, all right, or as is in heaven. So, your will be done in earth as it is in heaven, all right, and then in heaven, once again, ba shamayim, all right, just like we read in the beginning, shaba shamayim, all right, that ba meaning in and shamayim meaning heaven. Nathan Lanawa, all right, which Nathan means give, okay, and Nawa, like we read in the beginning, it is means our, okay, or us, okay. So Nathan, uh, Nathan Lanawa, give us Lacham, which means bread, okay, give us bread or food. Kal Yawam, Kal means all. So when you say 
call halal yahawa that's call meaning all halal meaning uh, praise yahawa all right so all praises to yahawa so call meaning all and yahwa means day so nathan lanawa give us lacham bread call yawam all day wa salah lanawa okay wa meaning and okay that's the hebrew word for and salah meaning forgive okay so when you let's say you might do something by accident or you know hurt a brother or whatever it may be you you would say what salah ya okay salah forgive ya me salah ya forgive me okay but in this sense, the, the, the suffix is not ya, it's nawa, okay, meaning us or our. So here we're asking the Lord to give us bread or food all day and forgive us, all right? Wa and salach la nawa, forgive us. Chawab waf nawa, all right? Nawa once again meaning our or us and chawab waf meaning debt, okay? So forgive us our debt. Chawabwath nawa, ka salach nawa, all right, ka here meaning as, okay, like how we read here, ka wa, okay, as, ka salach, forgive, nawa, us, or, or our, or we, so, ka salach nawa, ka as, salach nawa, we forgive, okay, ka wabwath Yanawa, okay. Chawabwaf, meaning debt, okay. Uh, ya nawa, meaning our, all right, our debts, our debtors, okay. So now, the reason it's ya nawa is because nawa meaning our, but ya means it, it's pertaining to whoever is saying it, all right. So if you if you if you if you say that's my brother or my brother is what ak ya, ak meaning brother or ak meaning brother. And then ya meaning my, okay? So ak or uh, ak ya is my brother, right? Ak ya nawa our our brother, right? So chawabwaf meaning debt, all right? But the ya nawa makes it debtors, all right? Our debtors, cause nawa meaning uh uh um nawa meaning our, <clears throat> and chawabwaf ya meaning debtors. Okay, because they're in debt to us. So really, in essence, it's saying, forgive us our debts, all right, or our sins, okay, as we forgive uh, uh, those who sin against us, all right. Wa la'a, wa meaning and, and la'a means not or, or no, okay. And do not or and not, tha baya anawa, lead us, so tha baya lead nawa once again our us or our all right so wala a and do not thabaya a nawa all right lead us um banasaya one okay ba in once again like this bashamayam in heaven ba meaning in na nasaya one temptation all right so thabaya anawa lead us uh, do and do not wala a thabaya anawa lead us ba in nasaya one temptation but abal but hawashai nawa okay once again the suffix nawa okay meaning us or our hawashai means deliver so just like the the messiah's name is ya hawashai which is he deliver okay the ya in the beginning means he okay and then hawashai means deliver okay and he was named yahawashai for he shall deliver his people matthew 1 and 21 all right now like i said in the beginning of the video you have the prefix and the suffix which could sound the same but mean uh, different things right so ya hawa all right or ya hawashai the ya in the beginning is he right ya he how was shy deliver right but if you were to if you were to say something like ak ya which is the same ya okay it wouldn't be he it would be my 
You see? So now you have Ya Hawashai, which is he deliverer, but something like Akya would be my brother. So at this when 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 it's a suffix, it's it's more of possessive, all right, as opposed to when it's a prefix, all right, which is more of, of like a pronoun. Okay. So it says, um Hawashai Nawa, deliver us Mayan from not to be confused not to be confused with Mayam, okay, but Mayan from Mayam is water, all right, or waters. So you have uh, from Rai, which is evil. So when you're sending up the curses and you're like, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Shalak Rayam, you're saying send uh, evils because Yam at the end makes it plural. Just like when, you, when you're saying Ak Yam, you're referring to more than one brother, right? Ak Yam. So Rai, all right, would be evil. Kaya would be four. Um, la ka to you, all right. La meaning two, and then ka being the suffix meaning uh, uh you, okay. Like here, sham ka your name, la ka to you, okay. So, um, and I'll read the whole. I'll go through the whole thing again. Like I'll read. I'll read it through once I'm done. All right. It says um, la ka to you, hamalakwath. All right. Malakwath, the word Malakwath means kingdom, like we read in the beginning. Malakwath ka, all right, your kingdom. But this time you have ha Malakwath, all right? And then the ha in the prefix means the, right? So ba hasham in the name. The, the ha meaning the, okay? So the kingdom, ha Malakwath, wa ha ala. Wa means and. Ha means the, and Allah means power, okay? So that's why we say when you see the word God, because the word Allah translates into English as God, G-O-D. So when you see the word God as you're reading, it doesn't necessarily mean the Most High, or it doesn't say the Most High's name there. But the word there is power, as you can see here, Allah. So, wa ha Allah and the power. Wa hathapa arath. Wa meaning and, ha meaning the, and thapa arath meaning glory. So if you were to say all praises, honor, and glory, all right, to the Most High, it would be what? Call meaning all, halal praises, uh, call halal kabad wa thapa arath. Okay, call all halal praise, uh, kabad. Kal halal kabad, kabad, which is uh, um, honor, okay, like when you say honor your father and mother, kabad abaka wa amaka, honor your father and your mother, okay, so kal halal kabad wa and thapa arath, glory, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So right, right here, wa and ha the thapa arath, glory. All right. Um, la walam, uh, la walam yam. All right, forever. Aman, meaning like so, let it be. Okay. So when you read the whole thing through, it's Abanawa, Shabbat Shemayim, Kordash Haya Shemka, Yahawa Malakwathka, Thabaa Ratazaka, Haya Aisha Baaratiza. Kawa Haya Bashamayam Nathan Lanawa Lacham Kal Yawam Wasalach Lanawa Chawabwath Nawa Kasalach Nawa Chawabwath Yanawa Wala Ah Thabaya Anawa Banasaya One Abal Hawashai Nawa Mayan Rai Kaya Laka Hamalakwath Waha Allah Wahathapa Arath La Ai Walamyam Aman so right here the word is la i walamium. Okay. Yeah. Or or la 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 walamium. Alright, I can't really make out that figure there. Okay. But that's really what it is. Alright. Our Father, which are in heaven, holy be thy so as we were reading in Matthew, okay. Uh, let me see if I can pull it back up. Just give me one second. Here we go. 
So this would be the English way. Our Father, Abba uh, which are in heaven, Shabbat Shemayim, hallowed be thy name, Kwadash Haya Shemka, thy kingdom come, all right, or Yahweh, your kingdom come. So you, you see how in the Hebrew, it's it's basically the same concept, the same prayer. However, certain words aren't like verbatim, as you would read here, okay? The king of uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is uh, in earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever a month. All right. Now we can go into the word. Uh... Okay, this is the Greek. Let me see if they have the. Uh... I'm just checking something real quick. That's all. Okay, all right. So yeah, that's that's basically it. Okay, that's the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. All right, um, low willing, it was edifying to the elect. And for brothers and sisters who don't know it, I suggest you learn it. Okay, you know, you read it, you learn it, you study it, so you can, you can have that prayer in your arsenal. All right, because it's very important. All right, and remember to fast as well, because the scriptures tell you, man, prayer is good with fasting. All right, and vice versa. Okay, so once again, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. Now I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which once again in the Hebrew that would be Kal Halal Yahweh of Slakia. Kal Halal Kabad Wa Tapa Arath Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Alright, until next time, Shalom.